Okay, we all know that using technology in school can help students learn. But how could our teachers reflect on how effectively they're using technology? Well, that's what this model is for, the SAMR model. It's kind of like a Bloom's taxonomy for educators. It was created by this guy, Dr. Ruben Puentadora, who believes that using technology allows us to think differently and perform new tasks. After all, if we have today's technology, then why teach like we did 20 years ago? There's four different levels and two different sections in SAMR. Let's take a look at the first level, substitution. This is where the technology used acts as a direct substitute. Let's take the task of persuasive essay writing. I could write an essay by hand, or I could type an essay using the basic features of a word processing program. The task is the same, and there's no functional change. The technology is being used as a substitute. Lots of teachers start out at this level, but don't worry. Because substitution is not a bad thing, even the best teachers visit this level from time to time. The next level is called augmentation. This is where the task is still the same, but the tech allows for some sort of functional improvement. So instead of writing our persuasive essay on paper, we could use a program like Google Docs. With this software, the task is still the same, but the unique features of a collaborative document provide some functional improvement. In both these levels, the technology is used to simply enhance a lesson. This technology may make tasks more efficient, but it's not likely to make a big difference in future outcomes. Most learning takes place above the line. And it starts with modification. Here the technology is used to provide a significant task redesign. So instead of simply writing an essay, a student could publish a WordPress blog using text, embedded videos, pictures, and other web links to convey their argument. The audience is no longer just the teacher either. It's the entire world. People from anywhere with an internet connection could review or comment on their writing, allowing for deeper analysis. The final level and the ultimate goal of technology integration is redefinition. Here, the technology allows for the creation of new tasks that were previously inconceivable. Instead of writing that essay, students could now create and publish a digital storytelling project to argue their writing with multimedia. Plus, just like the blog, through publishing this movie to the world, it allows for other people to comment and analyze their message. So the heart of the assignment is still the same, but the technology allows them to engage in a new, more involved task that's otherwise not possible. At these levels, learning is transformed through the use of technology. When we are more engaged and involved, significant improvements in learning are more likely to take place. Different people have different ideas about SAMR. Some think that SAMR is like a ladder that you climb. You start at substitution and work your way up to redefinition. Others think each level is like a swimming pool that you swim in or visit from time to time throughout the school year, and that's okay. Because no matter the interpretation, the real power of the framework is that it promotes reflective teaching in the classroom. What you do, why you do it, and how it helps learning. By thinking about the different levels, teachers can focus on designing digital learning experiences that will help improve student outcomes. See, the thing about SAMR is this. It's not the type of tech tool that defines the level. It's how the individual teacher uses it in their lesson. So whether you're substituting or redefining learning, remember the ultimate outcome for integrating technology should be simple. Maximizing, maximizing student, student success. success. Want more information on SAMR? Check out these links.